When I'm riding through your hood, east side, be with me. Saw the pole at his chromosome, me with me. I'm back. Any nigga got a problem with it. Got the black hat, get it on with our sweetheart. Oh, they can't hold us. The streets, they can't control us. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy T and I'm back with another video, man. And today, we gonna be talking about number seven. All right, so look, man. Now, South by Southwest, right? South by Southwest. It's a festival. Well, a music festival. That takes place in Austin, Texas every year. And you know, if you're a buzzing rapper or like an underground buzzing rapper that's trying to cross over into the mainstream, this is the place to be. It really is. I, I mean, it's like network heaven. If you are serious about your music, this is where you want to be. And also, if you just want to have some fun, you know, if you're just a fan of music, you also want to be here as well because they be going crazy. You know, I've been out there, you know, in 6th Street, 6th Street, it be going down over there. Now, just hear me out. People getting beat up, you know. People drunk, you know, just drunk as hell, talking to just be talking. Up and coming music artists showcasing their talent. And most importantly, right, because this is the most important thing. Big ass booty cheeks just bouncing around everywhere, right? It's ridiculous. As long as you hear some music playing, you're going to see some ass shaking. You know, you got to love the environment. But uh, something else that goes on at South by Southwest is a lot of rap beefs. Because, you know, a lot of rappers... They finally get the chance to meet up in person. Like, we are in the same place now. So if you've been talking crazy about me, now's the chance to say it to my face, you know, because we are in person. And that's what brings us to this video. Because my guy, right, number seven, he responded to some of the rumors that's going around saying that he's scared to attend South by Southwest. So I'm about to read it verbatim for y'all right quick. All right. Why would I be scared to go to South by Southwest? I got a whole license to open carry. If I feel threatened, right, in any type of way, right, I'm going to shoot my gun because that's just the thing about it. I'm the same nigga, right? The same one. You call for a gun when you were scared. I'm the same nigga again, right? The same one from before. That you called to the fair when you paid 30 security guards to go with you. And I'm still the only one that had my gun. Leave me alone and make it make sense because it really don't, none at all. Because when have I been scared of anything or anybody? And that's what number seven said, you know? So if you mad, right, check this out. A-N-U-M, right, B-A-A, -A, and then add a seven. At number seven, that is his Instagram. Don't you come DM me. Mad as hell. But it ain't my fault. But also, let's touch on this management situation as well, uh, really brief. Number seven say... He don't got a manager. Insinuating that Rainwater is no longer his manager, of course. And he also says, contact me from now on about any business. And then he said he don't know how to cap to look good. If you rocking with him, I'm going to let it be that. But I'm done talking. And over on Rainwater Stories, uh, he, he posted some people cool with being local. And he also went to Mo3 Grave site and he uh, made a video saying uh, how he feel as though Mo3 did so much for people and uh, there's no room for uh, people to be lazy. 
So every day when you wake up, you should be trying to make Mo3 proud. And I'm guessing that's uh, aimed towards number seven. So that's what I got on that. I don't know uh, more details. I mean, if y'all want me to uh, message Rainwater to see what he has to say about it, I guess I can do that. But it ain't that serious to me. I mean, the HSM album is coming. Number seven solo album is coming. So it's not like him and Rainwater can just stop talking. They still have business together. So I'm sure whatever problem is happening will be resolved. And that's if there's actually a problem. Because I'm going to be honest. This could easily just be a PR stunt. You know, just for publicity. I just said HSM album is about to drop. I just said number seven album is about to drop. Y'all know Mo3 album is about to drop. Don Don about to drop. So what better way to get people talking than controversy? I, I, I mean, this is literally the same formula that Rainwater used uh, at the Mo3 died. And then uh, number seven and Don Don uh, was mad at Rainwater. But it was just a PR stunt. I made a video about it. Everybody was, ah, number seven and Don Don don't like uh, Rainwater. They beefing. Yeah. I just made a video saying this is clearly a PR stunt. And it works. I mean, Rainwater is a genius in that sense. So honestly, this whole thing could just be a PR stunt. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. But anyway, man, how y'all feel about this? Let me know in the comment section, bro. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, man. Hey, man, follow me on Instagram at TZFBaby. 252. But Lil Mo3. That is my guy. He really is. But I'm gone. Hello, real quick. Gotta go to Ops. Spin back around, nigga. Hurry up. Hey, bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry. 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 Bitch, I'm in these streets. Fuck this industry.